Dear Shenhua, my work is done. The Phoenix entrusted to our people is now complete. The time of destiny has come. Go with the one who holds the Phoenix, Shenhua, and find the proof. Yield yourself to the light and go together. I shall give you the family treasure, the Sword of Seven Stars. Think of the sword as a part of me, and keep it with you. I shall always watch over you. What the...? Ryo! Right. Dragon and a phoenix. Just like the mirrors. So, this is what he was working on. From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him. The strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten, alone. What is that poem? It has been told in the village since long ago. The one who holds the phoenix. That's Bailu Village. We might find some clues about my father there. Let's go. Sure. Hey, Shenhua. We have to get to the village. Let's go. Do you have any idea where your father might have gone? No, I don't. Hmm. Has this ever happened before? With my father? Yeah. Has he ever disappeared without telling you? No, never. I see. Are you certain 
That letter from the cave was... It's his handwriting, without a doubt. Okay. Are you sure it didn't contain any clues? Um... Shenhua? I don't know. Honestly, I don't care about the letter. I just want to find my father. I understand. Hello, Liu. Xinhua, who's this? This is Liu. He saved me from drowning in the river. <clears throat> Did something happen? A group of thugs tore through here two days ago. Oh no, really? Yeah, the kind we don't normally see around here. Let's... Keep moving. Hey, Shenhua. What's the matter? Does the village usually have gatekeepers? No. There's no need for them. Bailu is a very peaceful place. Are you sure about that? Because they said some thugs came by. Yes, but it sounds like they're not from around here. Still, that's worrying. Even for you? Yeah. I admit, I'm a little unsettled myself. The village feels different somehow. I can imagine. Let's ask around for some clues. Let's go. That was a pretty old bridge. Indeed. That's the Verdant Bridge. That's what it's called. Yes. It's been in Bailu for a while. Is that the village? Up ahead? Yes. Everyone lives up ahead. We can ask around. Someone's bound to know something. Let's not waste another second. I'm sure we'll find out more about your father. Thanks. You investigate here, Leo. I'll try another settlement. Oh, 
Hi there. Aha! Come to apprentice under me, have you? Oh, nothing. Fear not, for I am the great Suza Xiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Do I look like I'd know anything about that? Right. Come by any time if you've got any burning questions about the great Chun Tai Chi. Will do. I need help with something. What do you want? I'm looking for someone named Yuan. No, I haven't. Not since I saw him go to that house over there. But that was a while ago. Okay, thanks. Hello? Uh, looks like no one's home. Do you have a moment? Huh? What is it? There's something I want to ask. Huh? What is it? I don't like the looks of you. Sorry to bother you. Is anyone there? Uh, looks like no one's home. Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen Mr. Yuan? He occasionally came to visit Zhou next door, but Zhou is likely working right now. Maybe Zhou's daughter Lin knows where he is. I see. Excuse me. What do you want? I don't like the looks of you. Uh, okay. I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Nope. All I care about is martial arts. Okay then. I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I don't know. Really? I don't know anything. I see. There's something I want to ask. <coughs> Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Where did you come from, young man? What? There's always something interesting coming in from the Lijiang River. I wonder what's going to show up next. Hey there. Yeah? That looks great. <laughs> yep, Shenhua tells me that too. 
You know Shenhua? She's my friend. Is she your friend too? <laughs> yeah, she is. Say, do you know Mr. Yun? Uh, no. He's a stonemason. A stonemason? Just like my daddy? Your dad is a stonemason as well? Yep. Can I talk to him? Uh-huh. He comes home at 7 at night. He does. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. No problem. Pardon me. Who's there? May I talk to you for a moment? What is it? Oh, hi, mister. You know this man? He's my friend, daddy. Well, get to it. I haven't seen Yuen around. If you know anything, I... Huh? What happened? Some thugs I'd never seen before showed up and wrecked my place. Thugs, huh? Why would they do this? It's me. They asked if I was a stonemason, so I said yes. And they just went crazy. Why stonemasons? Uh, they were definitely looking for something. What did they look like? Well, they weren't from around here, that's for sure. There were two of them. One had a shaved head with a tattoo on it. Don't tell me. They went to Yuan's place too? I don't know. Yuan was in the quarry when he disappeared. You're kidding. Those thugs might have something to do with that, too. Maybe. I'll be sure to tell Shenhua. Bye-bye, mister! Bye! It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house.
Hey, bud. Bud, over here. You can't play unless you buy some tokens. Okay. Buy some tokens if you want to play. Hi there. Buy some tokens if you want to play. It's 10 you're on for 100 tokens. How many do you want? Thank you. You can exchange tokens for prizes, so be sure to head to the prize exchange after. You can then take your prizes to the pawn shop and sell them, so more tokens means more money. Good luck out there. This is... Hi there! Do you have your eyes on one? Or on me? <laughs> How much are you betting? Got what it takes, cutie. Up for some more? Not now. Come again soon. Turtle races, huh? Hey, here to play? I recommend Bailu Village's own turtle racing. How much will you put down? Which turtle will it be? This is the only way to get rich quick in Bailu. Nice, bro. Go again. I'll come back. This is... It's Flower Bird Wind and Moon. Want to try? I'll have to collect your bed in advance. All right. Which do you bet on, flower bird, wind, or moon? This one. Coming in. Too 
bad. That one goes to me. Is it already that time? You're welcome to come back tomorrow. Have you learned anything new, Ryo? Not about your father, no. I see. It seems that the thugs invaded Mr. Joe's home, though. Joe, you mean Ling's house? They must have my father, then. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm going with you tomorrow. What? I can't stop thinking about these thugs. I want to know more. All right, then. We'll go together. Good. This is Shenhua's room. Good morning, Ryo. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Ryo! Let's go. Yeah. Your house is pretty far from the village. Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. Is there a reason for that? The quarry could be one. Sorry? The quarry. It's a special one that even I'm not allowed to enter. Ah. So, your house is there to protect it? Yes, I believe so. Father didn't tell me anything about it, though. I see. Do you know what the dragon and phoenix in the quarry were for? No, I don't. But your father carved them, right? Yes, he must have. He wasn't alone, though. What do you mean by that? They must have taken generations to complete. So, you think your grandfather worked on them, too? Yes, possibly even further back than that. Have you 
Heard any stories about them? Not a single one. My father always said he'd tell me when I got older. Then how do you know it has so much history? Well, everyone in the village has history. The villagers? Yes. Generations of stonemasons, hunters, and farmers have all lived here. The same goes for the cattle wranglers. They've been here for ages. Oh, yeah? That's just how things work here. Is this a dojo? That's right. This is Marshall Hall. It's been here for ages. Marshall Hall? Long ago, many great martial artists traveled here, from all over the world. But no one comes here nowadays. Is that so? Ryo, you should come here to practice when you have time. Is that... Okay? Of course. Our doors are open to everyone that comes here looking to master the martial arts. Are you a new trainee? I'm sorry? Hmm, you're Japanese. I am. The people of Bailu Village have trained here for centuries. It has history. Did you say centuries? You would do well to train here if you have lost sight of the path. You can polish your techniques. So you'll let me train here? Not only that, I'll let you prove yourself by fighting the monks here. You're on. A fight? Very well. Your first opponent shall be Red Tiger. He is our least skilled monk, but do not underestimate him. say you will you join us yes absolutely very well what is your name Ryo Hazuki I shall have a name tag prepared for you you will start from the lowest rank rank yes you must fight and defeat someone above your rank in order to move up you must train day in and day out to improve your kung fu
Whose shop is that? Over the bridge. Oh, it belongs to Uncle Tao. Uncle Tao, huh? Yes. People can get anything they need from his shop. I see. Leo, did you pack anything to eat? Why do you ask? Well, you can't run on an empty stomach. That's a very good point. Be sure to keep a little something on hand in case you get hungry later. A lot of places in the village sell food, too. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Leo, the herb. This is... It's licorice. You can make Chinese medicine with it. So, you can turn this into medicine, huh? Not just this. There are lots of herbs growing in Bailu. Where do they grow? They're all over the place, but you have to really look for them. Oh, really? There should be special maps at Uncle Tao's shop. Someone actually made maps? Yes, if you find enough to make some medicine. Uncle Tao will buy them from you. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. I would like to know, what's the tall tower just past the village square? Ah, uh, yes, that's the bell tower. What is it for? We ring the bell if there's a fire in the mountains, or if something dangerous is encroaching on the village. Is that why it's so tall? Precisely. It's also a useful landmark, because you can see it from anywhere in the village. That's handy. So, you can find your way back to the square? If you head for the bell tower? That's right. I'll have to keep that in mind. Excuse me. You're not from around here, are you? You're a Fang. This is a friend of mine. Um... Is that right? Have you seen the thugs that came to the village recently? Word has it they showed up at the Wong household. But Wen's lips are sealed. Maybe she'd open up to you. It's worth a shot. Thank you very much. Just be careful, okay? She'd be heartbroken if anything were to happen to you. Huh? Who would be heartbroken? Shenhua, that's who! Actually, I... Oh dear. There I go running my mouth again! <laughs> okay then.
Excuse me. Whoa! Oh. Well, what have we here? Looks like it's a young man this time. Um... There's always something interesting coming in from the Lijiang River. Huh? Uh, first a tree, then a goat. I wonder what's going to show up next. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Jiang, there's something we'd like to ask you. <laughs> if it isn't Shenhua. Have you seen Wong Wen? Who's that now? You know, Mrs. Wong. Wong Wen? Oh, her. I saw her just a while ago. If you want to speak with her, then go see her. Thank you, Mr. Jiang. I need help with something. I have nothing to say to a stranger. Can I talk to you about something? Sh Shenhua, w what's up? This is Liu. He's a friend of mine. For real? I need help with something. Hmm? I'm looking for Wang Wen. I have nothing to say to a stranger. Ming Yang. W w what, Shenhua? Did you see Wang Wen or not? I saw her heading toward the Verdant Bridge. Thanks, Ming Yang. Oh, uh, don't mention it. I'm just, you know. Excuse me. Huh? What is it? Hello, one. Senhua! This is my friend, Yo. Oh, really? Your friend? I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? One. Did the thugs show up here? That they did. But my husband drove them off. He's really good to have around in times like these. What did they want? That's what I'd like to know. They kept hollering something about wanting to meet the stonemason. I was inside and didn't see anything. My husband told me about it after it was over. I see. Let's talk to Shiren, one's husband. Good idea. Thanks again. Thanks, one.
Uh, looks like no one's home. I need your help with something. Can we ask you something? Huh? Who's that guy, Shinwa? This is Leo. He's a friend of mine. I need your help with something. I'm looking for Wong Shirin. Have you seen Mei Ling's father? I have no idea. Okay then. Um, thanks. Hi there. I'm looking for Wong Shirin. Isn't he on guard duty? I see. Hello, Leo. Da Tong. What's with the two of you? Is Wong Shiren around? I'd like to talk to Shiren. He left to patrol Long Weishan. It's up ahead. You'll see signs for it. I see. Excuse me. What do you want? What are you two doing here? Uh, there's something I want to ask. I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? Did you see two of them the other night? Yeah, a big man with long hair, and a man with a shaved head and a spider tattoo. Tell me more. They barged in during the middle of the night when I was sleeping. They kept yelling this and that about a stonemason. I told them they had the wrong house and drove them off. Then I went right back to bed. Is there anybody else? Do you know where they went after that? That I don't know. But I do know that there were other witnesses. A man I met at the bar was talking about it. He was a bookie with a scar on his face. What kind of scar? A big one. On his cheek. We should talk to him, Leon. Yes, let's go find him.
Hey, Shenhua. Yeah? I think we should split up and look for the bookie. I'll search from here to the village square. You go from the village square to the next settlement. Got it. I'll see you later. Yeah. Excuse me. Huh? You talking to me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wanna have a drink with me? It's going on your tab, laddie. Seems like you've already had a few. I'm just having a good time. I'm not drunk. Who said that? How about a round of rolling Excuse on me. top? Hello there. Would you like to play some dice? The rules are simple. Roll a bigger number than me, and you win. I need your help with something. Do you know a bookie with a scar on his face? There's no one like that in Joy Park. Why don't you try another venture area? I see. Excuse me. Hey there, lad. How about a game? A scarred face. This must be the guy. Huh? You say something? There's something I want to ask. So what? You're not here to play? I'm looking for someone who's seen those thugs. Oh, yeah. That guy. Where can I find him? I'll tell you after we play. Okay. Uh, lately, I'm not as good as I used to be. Why don't we let our throws do the talking? A challenge, huh? Yeah. Beat me and I'll tell you. How about it? Let's do this. You're weaker than I thought. Too soft. Take this. He still got a long ways. Too bad, kiddo. Uh. Yeah, Kung Fu's a little lacking. Go train at Marshall Hall and we'll start over. <laughs> right, Marshall Hall.
I've got to eat something. Looks like I can practice horse stance here. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Horse stance, huh? Maybe I'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll practice some more. Maybe I'll practice some more. Never mind. I could practice my one inch punch. Sure, I'll give it a shot. One inch punch. Maybe I'll give it a shot.
Maybe I'll practice some more. Should I keep going? Should I keep going? Never mind. This is a name tag from one of the students here. Shrin Shan Sun. What's a bookie's name doing on one of these cards? Shrin Shen Sun. Hmm? Shen Sun was another who traveled a great distance to train here. The bookie who runs the Pale Toss game? Indeed. He even earned the rank of Second Duan at Marshall Hall. I don't know where he went wrong, but he's been reduced to a lowly ruined bookie now. I had no idea. Sadly, his passion and drive left him. Excuse me. Hmm. Here to train? Have you come to spar or fight one of the monks? Which will it be? I have the perfect sparring partner for you. This is Red Tiger. 
You may start immediately. wish to keep going. I'm sure you do. to keep going. I'm sure you do.
What say you? Will you keep going? Wish to keep going. I'm sure you do. Come back anytime. I'll be waiting. I'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll practice some more.
maybe I'll practice some more. Should I keep going? I'll save it for later. There's nothing for me to do this way. I better eat something before I fall over.
It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Shenhua. What is it, Liao? Shiren mentioned a bookie. Yes, with a scar on his face. Right. Well, he saw that guy in the village square. He did? And then what happened? I didn't get that far. Oh, I see. He mentioned that he saw the guy. Okay. But he couldn't tell me much more. Hmm. Well, that's our only lead so far. You're right. I'll have to get more out of Shiren somehow. Don't do anything reckless, okay? Ah, uh, I won't. There are some bad people among the bookies. You should keep your distance. I'll be fine, don't worry. I'll find out what the story is, trust me. Okay. Thank you. 